Yeah, how's it going everybody? Joyce with Sorrow here. Welcome to the Joyce with Sorrow channel. So I lucked out today. I got some early Christmas money in from family members, so I was able to treat myself to a little extra THC this year, or before the year ends. And I went and picked up another Rove cartridge. This one is the Sherbert strain. It is a hybrid. And you guys have pretty much already seen what uh, one of these pretty much looks like from my other videos, but I'll go ahead and go through some of the information. You guys can see right there the package date, the batch number, the ma uh, manufacturer date, and the expiration number. Uh, as far as the strain, it is a full sherbet. Uh, total THC, 82%, 820 milligrams. Total CBD, 0.4% or 4 milligrams. All right, this is a one gram cartridge. Okay, and uh, just go ahead and uh, open this up. Let me just put my magnetic adapter down here. Okay. Oh, you know what? I kind of forgot to show you guys that label at the bottom. Sorry, I already cut it up. So, <laughs> but it's there. Uh, full sherbet. There's a the THC right there. CBD on the other side. Cool. So, I'll show you guys how to open these again. You hold down this button here at the bottom. Pull it down. Push from the top, this this part of the box up here. And it'll, whoa! It'll all come out like so. Except, it'll have this little pamphlet. And this little Rove Rewards uh, piece of paper on it the cartridge use and instructions guides and I do kind of want to go through one of these again because this is so far the only cartridge um, that I've bought that actually states this and it says in the use section your cartridge is pre-primed do not preheat steadily hit for steady hits of five seconds or less are ideal for optimal continued performance uh, the care section do not overheat your cartridge robe oil is nice and thick but in most cases, simply hitting the cartridge will heat up enough to allow the oil to move around. Using a preheat function is usually not necessary. When possible, store cartridge upright in the, its original roll box. Um, here's what I, here's the issue I kind of have with robe. They they tell you to put it upright, but this came out of the box upside down, and, and I'll prove it here. Let's put the box box back up on it. Okay, so there's only one way this box can go in because of the lock and the area to push. So that is how it, it came to us or to me. And as you see right there, this is already backwards. See? So Rove, uh follow your own advice before you tell us to do so, please. Thank you. And okay. Let me show you guys here the instructions. Like I said. This is something I've never seen other cartridge uh, brands do before, where they tell you not to preheat the cartridge. So, thought it was interesting and I should bring it up. Also, one of the f things that I usually don't see, um, and I say usually because I've only seen one other brand actually do this, and that is they have a mouth cover along with a thread cover on the, uh, on the cartridge itself. So, here's the cartridge. It does say Sherbert on it, right there at the top. That's one of the cool things about these Rove cartridges is that they will always say the strain at the top right here. The Rove uh, brand is usually here at the bottom. It's usually an R. It's usually two R's. And then there is the brand is also inside the cartridge. Uh, this one's being covered up by the cannabis California Cannabis Advisory sticker. Is that a sticker? Yes, it is a sticker. So, and on these, the cannabis advisory label is an actual sticker. It's not actually printed on to the cartridge. So, what we're going to do, we're going to test it out. So, take off the thread protector. Taking off the mouthpiece. Going to go ahead and screw on the magnetic adapter for my... You can uni battery and then once again guys if you guys have the you can uni and you seem to be having 
battery issues, a lot of times it'll be because of something like this, where your intake holes are completely covered. All you really have to, and what'll happen sometimes is when you put it back on the unit, it'll blink. Uh, if you like two, I think three or five times, and then it turns itself off, and then blinks again, and then it turns itself off. Um, you remedy that by just twisting out a little bit with this. All right, making sure that the holes, the intake holes for the air, are visible. It's actually not going to be easy for me to get that on this uh, tablet camera, but it is there. All right, now where is my battery? Okay, then you know it's working when you press, and you see only one light came on. Uh, you know, the, the one bright light is the actual light, the one you saw in the middle, that's just uh, from the one LED or, that they share, or whatever. Let's give it a try. Citrusy. Citrusy at the really citrusy at the beginning. A little bit of a pine, a little bit piney, and the berry, a bit of a berry aftertaste. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, the berry taste is a lot stronger than on the uh, the cartridge I just recently reviewed, which I'm actually not even done yet. It's uh, no, here it is. The um, Moxie. Let's remember right the Moxie. Uh, blueberry cookies. Uh, remember, you guys remember that last one? I did mention that it does have a bit of a blueberry flavor, but it's really, really faint. This has a more milder uh, berry flavor than this towards the end, but the beginning is quite citrusy. Mm, it's actually not bad. I, I do like it. So, let me get another one in. citrusy at the beginning. Uh, once you start exhaling, you start feeling that uh, berry taste. I like it. I actually like it quite a bit. You know, it's uh, a pretty good find. Well, I actually went to a store. Uh, the store is called The Syndicate. Um, that's where one of, one of the many places I like to get some of this stuff. But uh, so far, it's been my favorite place to get, get my stuff because they actually include the pr prices, or they include 20% of the taxes that you have to pay in the price. So that does save you a lot of money in the long run when you're buying this stuff. So I appreciate the syndicate for that. I also appreciate them for their rewards program. As a matter of fact, since I do buy most of the stuff that I review on here from them, as I buy more and more of it, I collect points, and it's actually thanks to those points I've been able to do at least three reviews on my channel of products that I would have never even gotten, really, if it wasn't for the rewards. Um, be best example I could give you guys is the Cresco stuff I've reviewed. The Cresco um, Half Gram, I think it was the Lemon uh, lemon Kush or Sour Kush was the first one that I reviewed. and yeah, I got that because I had racked up enough points so that I could get a free half gram cartridge. Uh, then after that, I racked up enough points so that I could get a free full gram of their uh, their wax, their crumble. Um, I forgot the, the stream for that one, but uh, that was also pretty good. <laughs> Excuse me. I was able to try out uh, the Jeter joints because of the rewards program. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I stand corrected. It's not specifically for the points rewards program, but the day that I showed up and bought a Jeter cartridge, Jeter had promotion that when you buy one of their cartridges, you would get a free Jeter joint. And that's one of the co other cool things about shopping at the Syndicate is that every now and then there are promotions, buy ones, get ones, uh, and things that you could take advantage of the mo right at, you know, at the moment. So if you guys are around the San Fernando Valley, if you guys are in the LA area, you guys are in Lake Elsinore. As a matter of fact, I talked to the shop owner the other day, and there should be a shop close to Slab City 
in Palm Desert, uh, in Desert Hot Springs. So when I head out to Slab City, and that is hopefully within the next few weeks, I will do a pre-Slab City stream or video before I head out. Um, so that way you guys know. I'm going to be doing a little bit different camping this time around. I'm actually not staying at a specific camp. I will find a place to actually camp out on my own uh, for the night or two. And then I'm going to be out there. So this time around will be actually pretty interesting. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe. Have yourselves a great day. Bye.